All right. So, um, Bucks versus. Give me one second. We haven't done one of these in a minute. Um, Bucks versus Pacers. Um, damn, Bucks versus the Pacers. Um, it was tough. I think I underestimated Pacers. I've never been to a Pacers game. I think I underestimated their environment. It had a lot to do with it. Even when the fouls were really on the Pacers, the way the crowd sways it, it they made it sound like the refs are making the wrong call. I thought it was creative. Um, the Bucks need a shooter. The Bucks need a great defender at the point of attack. The Drew Holiday trade looks kind of iffy. Um, of course, Miss Giannis, but I think the bigger solution is to develop the guys. The back end guys need to develop. Um, it's just time. Like it's time for that. And I really think it's gonna be some um, some decisions that need to be made. Not so much trades and firings, but I do think from like a developmental standpoint, um, you just gotta address that. I think um, AJ Green gets better as a shooter, as a defender. I think um, Marjan Bochamp takes another step. I think Andre Jackson takes another step. I think Chris Livingston steps into the mix from the Bucks standpoint, but the out rebound, out rebounding, you couldn't match Aaron Neesmith shooting. Obi Toppin making threes, so there has to be something there. There has to be something changed about the Bucks because you're going to see, damn, you're going to see Indiana over and over again. It started in the in-season tournament, and now the first round of the playoffs, you're seeing them, so something has to change there. It's looking like it's going to be New York and, it's going to be New York and Indiana, so I'll be back, I'll come back for uh, I want to say I'm going to try to time it up game three. So in a few weeks, I'll be back. Uh, but I do think it's really important that the Bucks kind of take some internal. Uh, they need to look internally and see what could be tweaked. Because this this is a this is a, a prominent team. But I think you have to develop outside of Giannis and Dame. Some people need to take the next steps. And I think that's doable. I think Marjan Joe Bochamp adds a three-point shot. He's already um, a high-level defender from a physical standpoint. He has to, again, develop the IQ to know what to do, when to do. Um, some of the things I've seen is just like the low man kind of being out of place, like the corner three, he's giving up the easiest shots. A lot of good movements off the ball by Indiana, getting their shooters open, getting Neesmith open, TJ McConnell getting open. I think um, they, did a good, they did a good job of doing what they do best, playing the transition. And I think their defense is a bit underrated. So this whole Pacers can't defend thing is false. Are they number one defense? No, but they could defend and they could make a stop. And it was simply a thing of, they, it was a game, it's a game of runs. They got a bucket, stop a bucket, got a bucket, stop a bucket. So um, congratulations to Indiana. I was going for the Bucks, I'm not gonna lie. Congratulations to Indiana. Now on to the next phase. You have to play that same physical game with the New York because New York is gonna come Dog d dirty, you know, they're gonna come with the grip. Um, OG and Anobi should feast, um, especially if they're not coming with the physicality. To under uh, OG and Anobi, Josh Hart's, they'll do a good job. But, um, you know, all in all, I think the next series is set with three minutes left. The 76ers are down. So, it's just so much, it's just so much to unpack. I'm still trying to, like the game was such a, it was such a hype and I'm trying to, I need to move back at the stats tonight and we watched like the whole game instead of the highlights and kind of see what was missed. But it was a mess, man. I think the Bucks could have did a lot better. There wasn't much pressure from a defensive standpoint. You letting these guys get up the court. Um, you know, you're not icing them. Right, like it's, it was just so many things that I saw that I was just like, man, there has to be a change. There has to be a change, in, like schematically, um, maybe personnel-wise. Um, so, the yeah, all in all, yeah, Cancun Bucks. No, seriously, I mean, at this point, um, 
it's just time to regroup and you you don't want to risk Giannis out there you have a KD situation so I get it I mean for the long haul you let Giannis rest but the back end has to develop that's no because even when what what's going to space the floor for Giannis to do what he needs to do when you don't have high level shooters you, you need high level shooters and they also they can't be a negative on the defensive end um, yeah, it's just, you know, everybody getting in Bobby Portis' head, he got to keep his cool like they need him. And so, it's a lot to, it's a lot to be assessed, but as we're watching, the, um, we're watching this game, it's 235 left. Does Philly come back? That would be crazy if they do, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to get back on here. I haven't, wow. 104, 109. Philly just cut the, um, cut it down to the games within five. So let's watch this live. Y'all watch this live. Um, bring it up the court. Spacing well, Hartenstein. Like in like kind of like the dunker spot. He's on the baseline. He drives. Okay, so it's a game of runs now. The paces aren't easy to beat. They're not. Pascal looks good there. They're very fast paced. No pun intended. Wow. Okay, so now the game's within three. Fourth quarter, 153 seconds to go. And so now what? What does this mean? So, come on, I'm going to turn the um, thing on the game. A second. All right. Stand up. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. It's the game's within three. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's a one-point game, 108 seconds to go. If New York, oh, I said I mean one minute, eight seconds. If New York wins, it's over. If Philly wins, it's game seven. I don't know where. So, ah oh, man, but this is what basketball is all about. It's a game of runs. Get a bucket, stop a bucket in that order, and that's what the Pacers did tonight. Okay, out of bounds. OG, set him a screen. Wow. Wow. They didn't count as an and one. This is. This is a slug fest. It didn't count as an and one. Watch. Uh. Ah, man. But that's what I'm talking about. This is basketball, man. All that regular season, everybody's scoring. That's not real basketball. It's not. So we want to be we want to be careful about how we judge the player based on regular season versus playoffs. But this is what this shit is about, man. Okay, let's do it. Oh, don't foul. They gonna fuck around and make a three. Oh, 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 no, it's none of that. It's none of that. Is they gonna shoot the three? Be careful. They gonna get the easy. It's a foul. Let me go grab a snack. Hold up. One second. Let me grab these chips. I'm hungry. Oh. I'm gonna grab my water for now. Okay. Oh, that is 
I'm gonna end this, but um, yeah, we'll we'll recap after. This I'm posting this on my page. Though.